Hello everybody, welcome to Josh Delaria's Musical Escapades. My name's Josh Delaria, your host, and today I'm super excited to bring you guys some more awesome 2020 music. I'm super stoked about this song. I actually really like this one the moment I heard it, which is not very common. Most of the songs that I listen to, I tend to grow into. So this one comes from Washington DC rock band Bad Moves, and uh, they're a four-piece rock band um, made up of uh, Emma Cleveland, David Combs, Katie Park, and Daoud Tyler Amin. And uh, what's funny about them is that they actually all sing, um, which is pretty uncommon for a rock band, especially as it gets bigger and bigger. It's not really common for everybody to join in the vocals. Now, beyond all that info, I don't know a heck of a lot about the band. Uh, as I mentioned, I did discover them earlier this year, so it's only been a couple of months since I found them. Um, but at that point, I think it was back in June, they had released their newest album called Untenable. And um, I, when I first heard a lot of their music, um, I don't know if I was like completely convinced by all of their music, but there were definitely a couple of standout songs that jumped at me right away. So of course, since I've been enjoying it so much over the last couple of months, I'm going to play it here for you. And, and this one was actually kind of buried on the album. Uh, it's the ninth album of the song, or ninth song of the album, ugh, <laughs> called Same Bad Friends. And um, I think it's really, really awesome just the way that it flows and the way that it comes out. So I'm going to go ahead and play it here for you guys. And I hope you enjoy it. Yeah, so you guys can see that the song does flow very quickly from part to part to part for the most part. But I love the fact that the band puts in quite a few instances of well-timed spacing. So I'm going to play for you guys here what I would consider the B section of the song, um, kind of where they do something different from the first part. And um, I want you to notice where there's a little bit of a gap in the vocals. And now they see you stretching your sleeves, carving details off your Right there, that 
short little you were special line allows you to catch your breath and digest the previous three and I guess half lines that they had just sung. Okay, so I also want to touch on the band's vocabulary here, and I'm going to go back to the first verse, or I guess the A section, um, as I would call it, uh, to show you guys kind of how deep their, their, their lines are and their metaphors are, um, and just the way that they use their words. Turn up late, shirt shrunk in again, a half smile, trace the dust. Yeah, I think especially the second half of that first verse is really, really powerful. Um, especially when you talk about um, soft skills and delicate words to cover up cracks and bucks in the armor. Yeah, that, that's a really impressive line. So when you use you know, kind of some of those like cliches in that manner, if you're able to kind of reinvent them, they can be pretty good. I usually don't argue in favor of cliches a heck of a lot, but the way that Bad Moves uses them here is really, really different and interesting. And they're using it in a way to help outline the idea that, you know, when you're in a down mood, you still want to talk to people like you're positive, but you also don't necessarily want to be dishonest either. To me, it's just a fantastic way of describing the situation which many people are in. Okay, so moving on, I do want to look into what I would consider fine structure. When I refer to a fine structure of a song, what I'm really referring to is like the structure of a line or a verse as compared to the whole song. Um, so uh, what I'm really thinking about is like the contour of the lines or the rhythm of the lines and how those can kind of change within a song. So what I'm actually going to do here is I'm going to play the first four lines of the first A section in the song followed by the first four of the second A section and I want you to listen about how the rhythm and contour of these sections are a little bit different. See my friends come over again and take turns Okay, that's the first A section. Now let me play it for the second one. Frigid fingers fumble in airtight pockets Worn from wondering you had time to turn out precious Now you have less and seems you're just reckless So do you hear how um, a lot of those rhythms are a little bit different? Um, and the contour of the lines take are a little bit different, but they have the same backing to them. Um, so what's really good about changing your fine structure uh, from verse to verse is that, or you know, section to section, is that you can keep things very unpredictable that way, and you can keep your audience peeled. Okay, another thing I want to talk about is this instrumental here, and for me, I felt like this kind of came out unexpectedly, which I like a lot, and um, I also really like that it traces the melody, but it's not quite the same as the melody, so let me go ahead and play it here for you. Yeah, there's not much more for me to say about that instrumental besides the fact that I like it, and I, I do really like the fact that it incorporates the melody of two separate parts of the song. Uh, I think that's interesting too. And the last thing I want to cover, I think I touched on this a little bit when I was talking about the verses, just the overall message of the song. Uh, I really like that this song is trying to bring a little bit more honesty to the kinds of conversations that I think we tend to have with our friends. Like, we want to put on a persona of happiness and, um, I guess, pleasant, uh, or whatever the word is, <laughs> I guess, um, pleasantness. Um, and uh, I think we can oftentimes get so wrapped up in it that we're not honest sometimes about some of the more difficult aspects of our lives. And I think this song really does a great job of bringing that idea out. All right, since this is a 2020 song, it's verdict time. Is this song going to get nominated for the top 20? Uh, you sure bet it will be. It, I'm going to go ahead and nominate this one, because um, uh, as you guys can tell, I really enjoyed this song right from the get-go. And, um, you know, I think when people can use, or when bands, I should say, can use a lot of that um, change in structure, unpredictability, 
depth in their vocabulary. Um, that always makes for a good top 20 song. So, you know, um, as you guys know, uh, obviously not all the nominees make it, but that being nominated means that it has the ability to make it to the top 20. All right, you guys, thank you all for watching this video. That is all I have for this song. Um, if you guys like Bad Moves, you guys can go check them out at their bank camp. Awesome.